Glasgow has always been one of Scotland's leading cities when it comes to music and the arts. They say people make the city and it couldn't be more true. You only have to look at the diverse and excited next generation of creatives putting on events within our city. My name's Hashim Ali, uh, I run Hawk Child DIY. Hawk Child DIY started off focusing on the punk scene. As I started to mature, I modernised what I was doing. I still wanted to contain that sonically intense, dingy, visceral energy that I had in the punk scene, but transpose it into a modern, new sounds that were coming out in the city. Glasgow's a rapidly changing city right now. Even though that we're quite detached from the rest of the UK geographically, we're still more than capable of providing good cultural output with Glasgow now becoming more of a student city as opposed to an industrial city, we're seeing tons of different influences being poured into the city. Glasgow is rough but friendly. Like I'm an immigrant and I'm from Russia originally. My name is Sofia and me and Holly, we're doing a collective called Vatch Power. We run workshops and nights and animation lessons for people. Our night called Fuse is really based and rooted in the visual side of things. I find when an artist feels like they can go crazy and experiment to their heart's content, it makes for a much more energetic and vibrant night. The work that we as the underground scene need to undertake is actually listen to each other and not be defensive if we get criticised. In terms of communities, I think there are more initiatives that are bringing people together and I think like one of the amazing ones is Where People Sleep, which is an artist collective just run from a flat. We are Where People Sleep, we've got three members. We're all artists and we're artist collective and art gallery that we run out of our flat. I see a lot of pushes for diversity and equal representation. What makes kind of Glasgow's music and art scene really special is that people are willing to try new things. It's just allowing people to really be honest and express themselves and create a space for non-judgmental expression as well. The difficulties that I think that's affecting the kind of the art scene now is like funding. The cuts that Creative Scotland have recently had was shocking and it's really hard to see that and that's why I feel like we strive in our collective to like try to be self-sufficient as much as we can. I think when you don't have someone, you know, feeding you funding, it really pushes you to take matters into your own hands. And also paying the artists, paying your contributors, paying the creatives that are involved, like that's so important. Some people still think that we have ginger hair and we run about in kilts, like, I have no phone signal. I'm Casey and I'm a DJ and radio host from Glasgow and I also run a music platform and club night called Beach. We are encouraging women to come out and dance in a male-dominated environment. That's the main aim with Peach. I think with Glasgow being where we are located in the UK, it's had major effects within the music scene. There's like one hand, it's great because for me, people from elsewhere will think, as girls playing rap trap and grind music, I want to listen and check that out. I can't believe Glasgow got a scene. And then on the other hand, people automatically think there's no scene in Glasgow. We need the whole country behind us. And I think the only way for people to realise that we are doing good things up here is by inviting them up. Sometimes it takes that actually booking them and paying them to come up here and play and to see the atmosphere here and see what this city offers. Hi, my name is Mobo. I'm part of a collective called Forage. We curate events and also manage artists. The fundamental idea behind Forage is uh, noticing creatives in different fields and then giving them all the space to kind of interact. Glasgow School of Art brings in such a wide range of like individuals. You bring in artists into like a club venue. You know, you bring in certain photographers, local photographers, and have them shoot or videographers. And it allows us to pick and match just like creatives together in a way that's unique to the city. With us personally, it's the energy that we bring as a collective. We're at the point now where we've been jailing for two, three years and we bring that to every event. The reason why I enjoy being in Glasgow right now is because there is that pushback from the people that are marginalised like through different platforms, whether it be panel talks, whether it is um, radio shows, whether it is gallery spaces, having curated exhibitions on topics that need to be spoken about essentially. 
the thing with Glasgow is like it's a gritty sort of isolating city and it causes people to become like really artsy they need to do something to just, find a way to get it out yeah to like mm -hmm. just like express themselves it rains a lot it's not always the nicest out you <laughs> yeah. spend a lot of time inside so that's why you have people picking up paintbrush or working on like, music or whatever it's just because it's gritty but it's artistic because of it the conditions are pretty much perfect, you know? This creates this space for like collaboration and showcasing and interaction, and it can only grow. It only survives at the moment just on this drive people are bringing in. So I think as long as the drive still exists, so many amazing yeah, producers, DJs, promoters will keep coming out of Glasgow. When something goes well in Glasgow and you know that you're really kind of pushing hard and you're putting time thinking about the production, who you're working with and how you're executing it, you can actually create some incredibly great experiences. It looks good from where I am. It looks really, really good for Glasgow. But I think we just have to keep on pushing what we're doing for it to keep growing.